Hey guys, James here with Next Level Collectors. What is crack a lacking? Anyways, today, guys, I wanted to come with you. I have a special little treat. It's a sort of a little visit, a little video for you. Um, I just wanted to talk about mail call this week. Uh, these uh, comics are nothing special, honestly. I didn't even get a chance to run to the comic store this week. I've just been so busy with the website and everything else, and for that I do apologize. I'm a little behind on things. But anyways, guys, so today I want to just come and talk to you about my mail call for the week. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, uh, we have uh, Mark S Spector. I think I spelled Spector wrong. Moon Knight, uh, number 20. I wasn't anticipating this one. Uh, this actually came with an eBay auction, and I don't know the sale off the top of my head, but hey, thank you very much for the free comic. I will definitely check it out. Hopefully it's a really cool, uh, cool comic. Apparently it's $3. So, extra $3 value with my purchase. But anyways, this was the lot that I got uh, this in. Um, so, I got uh, Web of Venom, Carnage Born. This was just a freaking really cool cover, um, and uh, it's you know number one obviously, so I had to get it. Uh, anything symbiote, I'm just I'm just on the hunt for all pretty much everything in symbiote. And uh, same thing, Web of Venom, Carnage Born. It's another it's a variant, another variant of this. Um, had to get it. It's just so cool again. Like pfft. it was a pretty good pickup, um, and uh, Venom number one. This is um, just another really cool cover. I, I really, I, so I, I look for the really cool covers, as you guys can obviously tell. Uh, Venom number one, good series. I love the, uh, the Null uh, Swirl Takeover thing. It's just really cool. Um, that whole concept is really cool, and that's kind of where we got the, where we we're ended up with the um, Absolute Carnage series. Uh, which is really a great series. So, I think I picked those all, I picked all four of those up for like 20 bucks. It's not too bad. A little more than retail, but uh, I can't complain. Another uh, pickup of the week is, is I'm a little behind on this series um, because they already came out with number two and I haven't gotten that yet. Was um, the new J.J. Abrams Spider Man number one. This is the die cut variant. Um, Actually, it was the only one I could get for a decent price, believe it or not. And, you know what? I, it's kind of cool. Very, very retro. Very 90s. But, uh, I mean, who am I to complain, right? It's, it's very simple. There's not even any, uh, any titleage or anything on it. You wouldn't even know what it was unless you looked at it and knew what it was. So, uh, Spider-Man number one, which is really cool. It came with this little behind-the-scenes thing. Again, another eBay auction. These some of these eBay guys are, are stepping up their game and giving you some free stuff, which you know that's kind of cool. I can't complain with that, right? But it's like free stuff, free comics. Um, and then another another one. Um, and actually, I'll be talking about this in another video soon. Uh, but I had to pick up Spawn 300. I was very hesitant at first because of the very hefty price there, 799. Um, I, I was like, oh, man. But uh, I follow Todd McFarlane on Facebook, and uh, shout out to Todd McFarlane. Congratulations on you know being the longest creator-owned comic book uh, guy, hardest. Sorry, um, but uh, I had to get this. He showed off you know some of the cool things and some of the other variants, and you know it just kind of got me hyped for it, so I had to get it. And I was like, you know what? I'll get it. I'll read it. It's going to be a really cool series. I mean, this book is huge. There are so many pages. That's why it's so expensive. It's like three comic books in one. Um, so, again, guys, if you haven't picked it up already, some comic book stores still have prints of these. Um, I was in one last week, Friday, I think, and, yeah, they still had a few copies and a few variants and reprints. So pick it up. Even if you can't get the originals, get the reprints. Definitely worth a read. They're already on 302, so you know what I mean. Uh, so I also had to get uh, House of X number six. Uh, here's the final part of this series. Um, so you know, obviously I haven't read it yet. So hashtag no spoilers. Um, but I'm very excited to finish that series off. 
Um, there's just so much going on. So many, so many things I gotta read. Um, and uh, so I also got Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales uh, 2 and 3. Uh, I do believe they make debut of the Miles Morales, uh, like, Venom symbiote carnage thing in one of these. I haven't read, again, I haven't, I haven't read any of these yet. So, guys, hashtag no spoilers. Uh, and uh, if you'd like, uh, you know, leave a comment. What did you, th if you got these, what, a week or two ago when, when they came out, did you like them? What did you think of them? Have you read any of these series? What are your top reads right now? We want to know. We want to know. Seriously. So, uh, finishing off, Absolute Carnage Lethal, Lethal Protectors. Um, Absolute Carnage is in our series, part of the Absolute Carnage. I'm going after, again, after those symbiotes, man. The huge fan of the symbiotes. I want everything I can have with symbiotes because I just make a really cool part of your collection. And uh, we'll be doing some cool things with the, this, uh, with these comics in another video uh, just a quick tutorial for you guys to check out also if, if you uh, are new to comic collecting um, and wow I just did that looks like uh, oh, I got a little crease in there but oh well uh, also so Absolute Carnage Venom number 17 um, another good series to pick up there's some interesting characters in this one some also some different um, symbiotes I've never seen before in this so definitely, again, you know, one of those things to check out. Um, also, hashtag spoilers, guys. Fast forward 20 seconds. Uh, Venom's son makes is is in this. Um, he's actually it's the whole the whole Donny Cates uh, the whole uh, the whole Venom series I should say uh, is kind of relying on that. So um, that's been the pickup for the week. Um, I do also have to make a quick special mention um, that I also got myself a bunch of blanks. Um, so again, as an artist, you know, I'm, I'm looking to fill these up. Um, I will be doing a short video series, and maybe within the next month or so, where I just go through and I fill this entire book in one whole video. For you guys to watch, speed, speed, video, speed, uh, speed drawing style, um, and maybe I'll do some little live blurbs on a separate session. Um, so I got a couple Avengers here. Had to get me an absolute. Had to get me absolute carnages. Uh, believe it or not, these things actually these blank covers were going for like eight bucks when I got them. I was like, <laughs> had to get them though because I'm obsessed. And powers of X blank. So, um, if you guys are interested, um, you can check out my Facebook page and my Instagram uh, and just message me. Say, hey, I'm interested in one of those blank covers. Um, and then we'll go from there. And then, uh, you know, we'll talk about that. So, um, that's all I have for you guys for this video. In the next video, we'll be going over a few things such as, um, you know, how to um, bag and board your comic books uh, and why you should do that. So stick tuned, check out the next video. Alright, peace out guys. Alright, so, so. <laughs>